सो इमेजिन यू आर इन एन इंटरव्यू एंड आस्ट अबाउट ऑप्टिमाइजिंग यूर एम्बेडेड सी कोड सो हाउ विल यू अप्रोच and what might be the simple and correct way of thinking let's discuss now here is the secret that can solve your problem 8 out of 10 times the pareto principle a vip pass to efficiency it says that 80% of your outcome comes from 20% of your important causes or input some people call it as 80 20 rule in the context of code or software most of the time a small portion of code is responsible for the majority of execution time so to optimize the code we can first concentrate on that 20% of the code we can start with code profiling tools that will analyze your code and identify the functions and the section of the code that consumes most of the execution time now we can optimize those frequently used functions by improving algorithms using a better data structure using assembly instructions or by doing memory access optimization as we concentrate on that frequently used 20% optimizing it reduces the overall execution time of the code significantly now let's try to understand each technique one by one so the first one is how choosing a suitable data structure can lead to a better performance let's imagine you are developing a task management application where users can add remove or update task each task has details like description due date and priority in this example you decided to use an array to store the task now let's say you want to insert a new task between task 1 and task 2 to do this you would need to shift all the task after the insertion point resulting in higher time complexity in case of array especially as the number of task grows but using linked list for the same scenario insertion and deletion are often more optimized to insert a new task between task 1 and task 2 you only need to adjust the pointers making it be go of one operation in contrast similar operations in the array may require shifting elements resulting in big o of n time complexity this kind of increase in efficiency due to the appropriate data structure choice become more important as the size of data structure increases making linked list a suitable choice for scenarios where frequent insertion or deletion at random positions are expected now the second one is algorithms I think I don't need to elaborate on how algorithms can help to improve code in the terms of time optimization it's pretty much evident a simple example would be sorting algorithm weak sort is much more optimized than simple bubble sort in a bubble sort we tend to follow a very simple and straightforward approach of comparing with each element but quick sort is more optimized because of its divide and conquer approach thus selecting a proper algorithm can optimize your code significantly now let's try to understand how by using assembly we can optimize our code consider one simple example of toggling a gpio pin on microcontroller this c code looks very simple but it is structured as function while the assembly version is written as sequence of processor instructions we know that function call involves additional overhead such as pushing or popping registers into the stack which we cannot neglect when function is called very frequently also we need to overcome this overhead in time sensitive cases of embedded system applications like self driving cars now in the assembly code we directly manipulate the gpio register using instructions there is no prolog or epilog that is no stacking or unstacking here making it potentially more efficient in scenarios where the function is called frequently so this is the one of the ways in which we can optimize our code using assembly in c when we declare variables the compiler allocates them in ram at memory addresses decided at compile time frequently accessing these variables can lead to significant memory access time overhead to avoid this we can allocate processor registers for these variables using assembly code and thus we avoid seeking the variable from memory repeatedly assembly instruction provide direct control over registers and memory locations and it allows us for fine grained optimization also sometimes generated machine code by compiler will not be that efficient it's very difficult to win against intelligent compilers 
but in a simple and straightforward cases our assembly wins so the next time if the interviewer ask you to optimize a given code just try to figure out those frequently called function or section of the code looping multiple times that 20% of code is contributing to most of the execution time target that portion of code use this simple techniques and you will end up optimizing your code significantly we are planning such short videos what interesting topics or embedded system concepts should we cover let us know in the comments below